good morning guys and welcome back to the Northumbrian coastline. As you can see an absolutely stunning day and we're hoping for more of these clouds to kind of work its way through today. We've come to the bathhouse which I've actually been to before and filmed here before but it's somewhere that I really wanted to come back to because I think there's so much more potential in this area. I also want to visit the uh, the far side of Dunstanborough Castle. Now obviously I've shot Death Rock's side with the rocks and the tower sticking up from the backside because that's a well-known shot. But I actually want to try going back to that area and see if we can get a shot looking back towards the castle. Because what I find from this side is you see more of the detail of the castle and there's, there's actually more you can frame up. We're going to kind of walk that way later and kind of explore the area and see, see what kind of shots we can maybe get for sunset later. Again, it's looking promising today, but you never really do know until it actually happens later on. So today, what we've done is we've come out early though, in sort of anticipation of the sunset later, and kind of scouting the whole area out to see which composition is going to work best, either the castle or the bathhouse itself, and see which is going to work better. But I really like this area, it's got a lot going for it, it's got a lot of details in the rocks, lots of different shapes and patterns so maybe it might be a case of while the light's a bit harsher just now is looking for some detail shots to work on maybe concentrate on, on some wave shots that are coming in because at this moment in time this is low tide and by the time sunset hits later it's going to be high tide which is going to be ideal because we want that sort of um, movement and that texture in the water to be able to work with the background of the images but we're going to have a look around see what there is See if there's any patterns I can work on for now. Have an explore at the castle and then uh, catch up with you in a little while. So right guys, we've moved along to uh, actually where Dunstanborough Castle is now from the far side that I told you about before but as you can see you're really low down because it's blowing a gale at the minute so I'm having to be quite careful that I don't lose you in the wind and as you can see the tide is now coming in so what I'm actually doing here I'll get you to the back of the camera and show you in a minute when I can but basically there's a rock out there and when this when these waves are coming in now they're smashing against the rock and the wind's blowing the waves back towards the sea and it's given a really nice effect with the castle in the background which is being illuminated it's kind of backlit because the sun's behind us so we're getting kind of rainbows coming back off that spray as well which I'm trying to capture I'm not sure if I'm getting them or not because it's really hard to see in the back of the camera but yeah it looks a really nice shot we've got some nice interest with some nice clouds coming through so just kind of experimenting with shutter speeds but kind of watching this water as well because the tide's coming in pretty fast now. I'll set the, uh, the screen on the back of the camera and be able to show you what I'm seeing through it but yeah, I'll get it done quick because <laughs> this is coming in fast. So guys, hopefully what you should see is it's really windy. Sorry, I'm having to be really careful here. I'll press record on the back of here now. There we go, recording now. So hopefully what you'll be able to see is I've got the castle off to the left hand side of the frame. I've got my focus point almost to the edge of that spit of land there because I'm using a little remote shutter. I've got a six stop case filter on to slow the water just down a touch. I'm aiming at about, I don't know, a third of a second somewhere around there because I'm, I'm trying to capture a bit of the detail as that spray comes back over. And as you can see as the waves are coming in, it's just creating a bit of a, almost like rainbows there. I don't actually know whether I'm capturing them, but yeah, just clicking the shutter as those waves come in and break across over here. Now hopefully, there we go. Hopefully, I mean, you can see the tides coming in really fast, so it's a case of watching what's happening all the way around you. 
and as these waves are coming in they're just breaking against the rock and I really like the way that the, the wind's so strong it's pushing the water back over so it's all a question of timing really and just capturing it when that spray is coming back over it, the most it is I really like the way as well we're getting a lot of nice light on the castle back there and also now the foreground is illuminated so those waves are getting nice depth about them because you can kind of see a lot more when it before we had all this in shade all the foreground was in in shade and it didn't quite look the same now we've got some nice light on the foreground here it works a lot better so hopefully if this shot turns out okay here it is now Obviously guys you're not at the most flattering level today as this wind is so powerful and every now and then it's just really picking up quite strong. So it's been a case of being really careful and I've already lost one of my tripods over, luckily the camera wasn't on it but it just goes to show it's coming in so strong from behind us here that it's just knocking everything flying. And obviously I've got that going on from one direction, you've got the, the waves and the tide coming in from the other, so it's quite precarious. But the reason why we've come along this far today from where we started earlier on, is that we thought while the, while the light's quite harsh, we were coming out and kind of investigate the area, explore, and find what we're gonna shoot for later. And obviously we started off there across at Howick Scar this morning, and I think possibly we might head back there later, but at least we've now been to these two locations and we can return to whatever, whichever one we don't uh, shoot for sunset tonight, we can come back and shoot later on, uh, for later day. But yeah, it's looking, looking great today. As I say, we've got lots of detail in the clouds. I'm just hoping that that is gonna stick around till later this evening. And I think what we'll do is, now that I've grabbed this shot from here, is we'll make our way further up the coast towards closer towards the castle and see if there's any other different shots from this area maybe there's something from close closer to the castle itself see this tide coming up this fast um, maybe there's a shot from further out on that spit of land way out there that we can maybe get so we'll go and explore over there see what there is and I'll catch up with you in a bit so after kind of reviewing the situation, after being down at the castle and after being Howick Scar this morning, I think actually it's going to be a better shot at the castle this evening. But that's kind of a good thing to do is to go to two places because the problem we have here is that Howick Scar, you've got one shot really, apart from the odd um, detail shots in the rocks, which are only really visible when it's at low tide or you've got the castle shot and now you've only really got really one point of view looking out towards the castle there as well so whichever way we we decide to go we're only really going to get the one shot so i think for for today it's looking like there's more cloud above the castle and that's looking decent so we're going to go there first and then maybe at a different time and a different uh, when the weather conditions are different go back to howick scar and actually shoot that one so guys, as you can see, we've come back to the location we just started at before up near the castle because we've decided that this is the best option tonight. And just before I filmed this piece, actually, it happened so fast. We had rain clouds moving from behind you. And uh, as, those, as they moved in, there's a lovely rainbow appeared off to the right-hand side of where the castle is over there. And we managed to get a couple of shots with the light hitting the castle the rainbow off to the right and some lovely waves hitting these rocks just down in the foreground here really really nice shot unfortunately I didn't manage to film it because it was a scramble just to actually grab that shot
So this is sometimes what you have to do, is we've been to two locations today and we've had to kind of really make a choice as to what we're going to shoot. Now, it could be a 50-50 chance whether it actually works out in our favour or not, but just from that rainbow shot alone, I think that's kind of made the decision worthwhile and the right one for today. Hopefully this uh, this light's going to continue into the evening. We're going to get some nice sunset light. We don't honestly know, but at least we've got that one shot. Now, the worry is with the shot, with the location we went to this morning, is we only had one option there, and that was shooting towards the bathhouse itself. Because the tide's so high, there's all the detail shots and the rocks would have disappeared and been underwater, so there would have really only been that one shot so if the light hadn't turned out like it has now and continued it would have been a bust probably over there we probably wouldn't have got the shot look in that direction now actually it's blue skies now there's the odd cloud coming al along the horizon but i don't think that would have made that much difference to the scene whereas over above the castle we've got some lovely textured clouds actually sitting behind the castle and there's actually more moving in so with any luck as time goes by, it just gets better and better. Now, one thing I have noticed about this location, and it means that I know this for future visits, is that it's way, way better at high tide. And that's because there's much more water in the scene. Because if, if you look beyond there, there's a lot of rocks. And when that tides out, it makes the foreground look really messy and distracting. When the uh, water level's way up like this, not only are you getting the waves coming in, but you're also getting rid of all those distracting rocks and there's more water in the frame and I think it's more pleasing to the eye that way. Right, hopefully what you should be able to see if I press record on the back of here now, is you can see what I've got lined up as this um, strip pano again and waiting for the waves to come in. There's a spit of land just out the front here and I've got my focus point bang on that spit of land, which is just on the lower third of the uh, of the crop. Just waiting for these waves to come in and just trying different shutter speeds of about a second, just below a second, just over a second, just to kind of get different effects. Now, the sun is starting to get lower in the sky over that way, and it's going to get to a point where all this foreground here is going to go into shadow. So, what I'm actually doing is I've set myself up on the, uh, on the composition that I want. I'm gonna grab some shots now when, while there's light on this foreground area with these different shutter speeds. In case there's one I don't like or there's one that I like more than the other, I can blend them if I need to. Um, but at least I've got the shots while, I've, while there's light on them. Hopefully behind the castle, as the sun starts to set, the cloud is gonna hang around long enough to kind of light up. But obviously by that time, the foreground's gonna be in shadow. But that's the point of getting these images now, then I can blend both in post later on and I've got the best of both worlds. I've got the, uh, the cloud in the sky with hopefully a bit of color, and then I've got the foreground with a bit of light on as well. So what I'll do is I'll grab the shot and hopefully it's turned out and here it is. guys as you can see we've kind of held out to the bitter end but it's not really happening we're not getting the color we expected to get or hoped to get um, but hey it's the way it goes sometimes at least we got that image with the rainbow in so that's kind of made up for the day and if we hadn't been here and hadn't kind of come here and kind of dedicated time to this we wouldn't have captured that shot either so it's always worth coming and scouting it out as it happens from the earlier location we tried this morning, there's no colour that way either, so there's nothing back that way, there's no colour at all really. 
as there isn't a great deal up there and we are starting to actually get a bit of sea fog just starting to come in over there now as well so yeah i think that's going to be it hope you've enjoyed the video like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one soon take care bye bye